friends back at it again with the tenacious 10 how y'all doing welcome y'all we finally made it to this brand new episode of 2022 season two of the tenacious 10 i've gone through so many trials and tribulations to get here to this episode but we made it um i'm glad you guys are here if you did not see in my last video make sure you watch it but your girl didn't catch covid so that's what i'm saying that's just one of the many trials and tribulations to get to this episode but i'm back and i'm ready all right so i do still have a big announcement for you guys um and it's going to come closer to the end of the episode i've been sitting on this information for a minute now and i'm finally ready to do it so let's get it popping y'all all right so we're going to be tasting some champagne today it's 2022 we're starting off with a bang so you know we gotta do a big baby we gotta do some champagne we gotta pop some bubbles never had this one it's been out of stock forever so when i saw that i had to grab it today we're going to be doing drum roll please the one the only moet okay the good shit all right so this is moet a lot of people pronounce it moet moet i like saying moet because it makes me feel fancy but the pronunciation is actually moet um, I've done a lot of research behind it. It's definitely Moet. But like I said, Moet sounds a little fancy. It's not like I got it off much. Um, but this is the Nectar Imperial Champagne. This one I have not been able to find for months and months and months. I started off drinking just a plain brew just to try it. I didn't really like it. It was a little too dry for my taste. And for the price point, I feel like it should have a little bit more flavor. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to try the Nectar Imperial Rosé. I found that one in like um like a mini bottle and I was like I'm gonna try it everybody's saying this one is a lot better I tried it and I fell in love if you have not seen my tiktok video where I review it I will insert it here real quick all uh, my champagne drinkers to the front please my followers already know how much I love champagne and they were telling me to try the Moet now quick backstory I already tried the Moet Imperial Brut and I did not like it at all it was way too dry too toasty too bready just not for me I was told that the Nectar Imperial is a little bit sweeter and a lot more palatable so I gave it a try now I like to work smarter not harder so I got the smaller bottle just in case I didn't like it and I only spent $20 instead of $65. On the pour it was a beautiful pink salmon color obviously because it's a rosé and it had a lot of nice tiny bubbles. On the first sip I was in love. A little bit sweet a little bit dry. 10 out of motherfucking 10. So yes honey fire okay so I'm excited to try this. I'm assuming it's going to be on the same tasting profile a little on the sweeter side. I'm pretty sure this is a demi sec. They just call it um, Nectar Imperial. If you don't know what a demi sec is make sure you watch my champagne recommendations video and I kind of go into what a demi sec is we're not here to really talk too deep about what champagne actually is because I do have videos about that we're here to blind taste this okay I've never had it and I'm excited to taste it um a little bit of backstory I bought this bottle when I got some news and I said that I was going to open this bottle and it was either going to be a celebration bottle or it was going to be drinking my sorrows bottle um and for me it's definitely going to be a little bit of both and again we'll get into that in just a moment so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open the weight is over i've been staring at this in my refrigerator for months now and i've been so excited to drink it uh, if you don't know how to open a bottle of champagne again make sure you refer to uh, one of my previous videos how to open a champagne bottle because we're not going to do all that right now so i'm pop it like i regularly do and then we're going to get the taste yeah baby yeah Let's get it in the trash. All right, y'all. So, on the open, I smell that little bit of sweetness. I smell like a uh, Granny Smith apple crisp. Um, it smells a little bit of honey suckle. It smells really, really good on the nose so far. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for the effervescence to kind of billow out a little bit. Yeah. Just like I just described, a little bit of honeysuckle, a little bit of melon, apple crispness. I smell the sweetness, but not as much as I smelled it when I tried the um, rosé version of this. But baby, we're going to give it a try. Cheers to new beginnings. Cheers to 2022. Cheers to season two with Tenacious 10. And cheers for joining me on this journey, guys. Bottoms up. Here we go. what I was expecting. I'm almost perplexed because after trying the rosé, I was like, 
damn, this shit is fire. It had like that fruit note. It had that sweetness. It was really good. This one, it has very, very little sweetness, kind of right on the end, almost like a culture mouse sweetness, like a little bit of honey. But then it dissipates very, very quick. Um, I'm definitely getting more brute at the front. It tastes like I bit into a Granny Smith apple. I had that little bit of tartness. I'm getting almost a little bit of toasty yeast on the end. I'm, I'm surprised. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it definitely threw me for a loop. This bottle I think was in the realm of like $55. And the Nectar Imperial Rosé is around $65. And I, I'd be willing to pay that extra $10 to get that versus this. This is good, but it's not what I was expecting. Honestly, it tastes like a regular, regular champagne. It's nothing to be like, ooh, I gotta get that bottle. And that's how I felt about the brew. I felt like it was just a regular, regular bottle of champagne. Like y'all are paying for the name and not the actual quality. Like it's okay, but I can't see myself buying a $60 bottle of champagne and taking a sip and being perplexed at the flavors that are inside that are not specifically the ones I was looking for. Uh, so yeah, um, I feel like it's very interesting that that's what I'm getting by taking a sip of the champagne that I bought as a celebration bottle and it not being what I expected because that's kind of what happened. So I know that's what y'all are really waiting for. That's what y'all are here for. So let's get into it real quick. Um, to be honest, today has been really rough in getting ready for this episode because today I feel like it's the first day. <clears throat> today is the first day I feel like the feelings of disappointment kind of hit me. But to kind of do this um, long story short type of thing, I'm a chef in my real life. I am classically trained. I attended Johnson & Wales University and I have a degree in culinary arts, full service management, a little bit of business, a little bit of entrepreneurship. So I, I really do this chef shit. I'm really out here. Moving to Texas, I wanted to kind of take a back seat when it came to cooking. I just needed a break because I had done it so much when I was in North Carolina. So I kind of stopped all of my culinary dreams for a moment i just needed to catch my breath so mid-year 2021 i was like i'm ready to do this like i'm really ready to get my feet back into the water of culinary i'm ready to get new business ventures new opportunities shit like that so i was ready so me being me um one of my favorite shows is hell's kitchen i've been watching it since i was really really young and i saw an ad on my business page and they were casting I was like, oh, say less, let me just apply. Now, of course, I didn't really think I was gonna get picked. And maybe a month later, I got a call and I didn't answer it. I was late at the bed, it was raining. I was supposed to go get a massage that day. I was supposed to have therapy and I just didn't feel like it. So I was just laying in the bed watching TV. I got a phone call, I didn't answer it. I didn't feel like talking. And I get a text and it was like, hey, this is a casting producer from Hell's Kitchen. Can you pick up? And I was like, oh, fucking what the hell? Okay, so I'm like, yeah, give me a call back. So they call me back and they're like, hey, we got your application and we wanna know, you know, are you still interested? And I'm like, are you fucking dumb? Do, do birds fly? Hell yeah, I'm still interested. So I went through a full phone interview that day, like laying in the bed, full phone interview went really well. And they're like, okay, well, we really like you, you know, let's do a second interview. And I'm like, oh shit, okay, so. <laughs> They're like, let's do the second interview with one of our top producers. You're, it's going to be a video interview and it's going to be in a couple days. Bet. So I get my best on. I'm ready to go. I don't know what the fuck they're going to ask me, but I'm ready to go. So I do this interview and it went really, really well. The casting producer that I interviewed with was actually on a show that I used to watch. And I was like, bro, like... I'm already nervous and now you're adding another level of nervousness to it because like I know who you are and I'm not gonna say anything because that's unprofessional but like I know who you are so I was so hyped um but the, the interview went really really well he seemed very receptive to me my answers things like that um I don't want to give too much away about you know the process but it was it went well so then they were like yo we appreciate you we like you we're gonna show this to Gordon Ramsay we're gonna show this to his team and we're gonna go from there that was the end of October 2021 and I haven't heard anything so this bottle signifies me celebrating the fact that I made it that far in the interview process like I know for a fact Gordon Ramsay have seen my shit and to me that's like a win but it's also bittersweet because it's like 
at this point I have a little bit of hope left but I've kind of came to reality that I feel like I probably would have known something by now but it is what it is I guess I'm very very hard on myself and my craft I'm a really good chef but I, I beat on myself so hard about some of the things that I do so I'm so proud of my journey thus far this is not the end for me. I'm going to keep applying to Hell's Kitchen and to other culinary um, TV shows. If you know of any, definitely DM them to me. Um, if you know anybody in the business, this girl needs to be on TV. Whether it's talking about alcohol, talking about food, this face and this personality needs to be on Food Network. It needs to be on Fox. It needs to be with Gordon Ramsay. It needs to be with Guy Fieri. It needs to be with these heavyweights because I know I can stand up next to them. So if you know of anybody, um that's in the business that could use me even as like an intern holla at your girl comment below um but shout out to hell's kitchen casting productions i appreciate the time and effort y'all gave me to you know interview me and i will forever be indebted for the opportunity to even say like i was interviewed and made it to the last round of going on hell's kitchen because again this is not the end this is the beginning it lit a whole new fire in me and I'm ready for y'all to see what's next for me, all right? I'm 27, and a lot of people can't say that at my age, so I mean, that's dope, all right? So, cheers, let's do another sip. I'm proud of myself, and that is my big announcement. Like I said, I've been sitting on this for a minute. Um, I had to kind of go through my own feelings with the process before I could kind of share, um, but again, I appreciate y'all, my subscribers, my family, my friends for supporting me. I'm glad that I'm going to have this platform to be able to share with you guys these experiences, and like I said, this is just the beginning for you, girl, all right? But that's my Tenacious 10. Hopefully, I kept it short and sweet. Follow me on Instagram, at Chef Tenay. Follow me on TikTok, at Tenacious Fork. Your girl is here, all right? We're here to stay, baby. Welcome to 2022, season two. I'll see y'all next Wednesday. I appreciate y'all, all right? Keep drinking. Peace.